Um, the need for food fortification uh, with micronutrients in the era of COVID-19, the Obasima approach, Amai do from Ghana. This year, have been faced with a lot of blow considering the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic, among which I enumerated as, um, as below, and that is poverty, which is already an existing situation and is being worsened now. Unemployment, which is a global situation and is getting at a higher rate and then depleted quality of life. But among all these, I think uh, malnutrition and then hunger is the most present in this time. I am Isaac Adu, and I'm the CEO of Metabino Health Center, which is one thing I love doing. It's a healthcare clinic in the neighborhood of Accra, and we give medicine and then home care services as well. I recently started Shalom Naturals, which is a herbal and nutritional supplement store, also about a month plus ago. And then Adonaimad.com, which is an e-commerce platform with special focus on groceries. In Africa alone, we have serious cases of malnutrition, which is increasing the global figures of malnourished people among the population. According to the Global Nutrition Report, about one in two of women in reproductive age are found to have anemia in Ghana. Being a medical practitioner and therefore a nutritional advocate as well, I realized that apart from scientists looking for vaccines and other means of curbing the coronavirus insurgence, there is an already known factor which we are not paying much attention to, that is micronutrient deficiency and its effect on the immune system. We realized that we would have to introduce an idea which will curb the micronutrient deficiency among pregnant women, children under five years of age, and women of reproductive age. We saw no need than to bring on board the Obasima scheme. What is Obasima? The Obasima scheme is a project launched by the Affordable Nutrition for Women, which is um, a partnership between the German Development Agency and the private sector in Ghana. And they seek to provide affordable nutrition options to pregnant women, children under five, and then nursing mothers. And these are some of the products on the market, which are endorsed by the Obasima Seal in Ghana and beyond. We have a three-pronged approach which we want to use to address this issue. And that is clinical nutrition training programs for health workers and then other related allied health workers with more emphasis on micronutrient and the Obasima concept. And advocacy programs with natural health shops, pharmacy shops, uh, schools, clinical dietitians and churches to recommend the Obasima fortified foods to them, thereby eradication micronutrient and uh, malnutrition issues in Ghana and beyond. Then we intend to market to the consumer through our online platform, which is adonaimat.com. That is my e-commerce platform, leveraging the Obasima um, endorsed food products. Then we intend to launch smoothies and other fresh products, which is nourished or fortified with the Obasima approved micronutrients and also helping to reduce or eradicate micronutrient deficiency. With all this in mind, we know that we have a pandemic proof approach, which is sustainable on a long term basis, using this three pronged approach. And that is marketing, advocacy, and then training. Thank you very much. Really, really great um, presentation, Isaac. Uh, and, and we really love the, the Obasima seal at, a, at the BFP, I have to say, and, and everything it stands for. So it's great to see that you're able to to leverage it as part of your work. Um, I was just wondering um, how, given all of the other activities going on with, with Obasima, with uh, encouraging the uptake of these healthy and uh, fortified foods, how it is that you're working with other um, players in, in this field in Ghana? And how you're taking it? Actually, going on in here. my line of work, I see some malnourished children. I see malnourished pregnant women in our usual prenatal clinics in Metabino Health Center. That is my clinic where I'm the CEO and then the practitioner in charge. Also at the Herba and Nutrition Shop, we come into contact with people coming to buy supplements and then we give them the advice on nutrition as well on a free basis. 
I guess I was just wondering for all of the people doing the work, uh, doing work with Obasima, you know, various private sector organizations, NGOs, um, if, if there's any, any interaction with them as you build out your own business model. For the time being, I've not had interactions with them, but I'm trying to get a more proposals to other NGOs who are also interested in nutrition programs so that we'll get them on board to endorse the Obasima seal for a lot of um, companies around. Uh, I like the uh, framework of approach that you mentioned, uh, which, you know, from advocacy to marketing perspective. So a good approach from entrepreneurial perspective. Uh, just wanted to understand how is your team placed? Uh, because, you know, that is quite well uh, relates to what uh, Corinne was asking. Uh, you know, so if you can answer on that component. Uh, second, the product uh, that you mentioned, the shop that you mentioned, and the website uh, that you mentioned. So uh, operationally, how it works, if you can come in quickly on that would be helpful. So um, with the herbal shop, uh, which I launched, my focus was to uh, improve the nutrition of people by selling nutritional supplements, which are probably endorsed by the Obasima seal. And then also, whilst I sell the herbal products alongside, I give nutritional advice as to how they can supplement their food with micronutrients on a natural basis. Okay, on team perspective, how is your team placed? Team, actually, I have two people working at the herbal shop. Then generally, uh, the nurses and all other allied health workers working in my clinic are also collaborating for us to give nutritional advice when it comes to micronutrient deficiency and malnutrition. Mm -hmm. uh, if I ask one more question quickly. So if you uh, get this fund, how do you plan to use this? Actually, we plan to uh, divide the funds among all the three organizations that I'm running now. As in, we, we, we share it among the three organizations to make sure we achieve a common goal of uh, restoring micronutrient deficiency issues among the population that we see. And my target is not only the area where these organizations are in Accra, but my target is Ghana as a whole by actually trying to compel people to endorse the Obasi muscle trying from the end of the policy making that Ghana Health Service and its allied agencies, where the policies can come from. And then they get on board all stakeholders in terms of nutrition and then community development. Very nice presentation, Isaac. Uh, I would like to, to know what is the infrastructure looking like for the distribution from your online stores? And secondly, uh, you, you plan to fortify smoothies and other products. Uh, do you plan to um, develop packaged food or is that a food that you would like to, to provide and sell through your stores directly? Actually, it's on my plan to also produce packaged food under the ticket of my nutrition store, the Herba and Natural Health Store. It's to push the agenda of nutrition, push the agenda of natural living, push the agenda of food fortification. So it's on my plan to prepackage food, get them registered with the Ghana Food and Drugs Authority, and then get the Obasima and those seal on it. So that the people will feel confident that they have uh, their foods fortified. So they are all on plan. And how distribute you the orders to the customers from your online store? From the online store, they can ever assess it all the time. Anytime they can ever assess it. So they procure it and then we deliver to them wherever they are. And the delivery is by uh, your company or do you hire a... In Ghana, we make use of um, dispatch riders for delivery, for robust okay. distribution. Mm -hmm. But outside, outside the town where we operate or outside Accra or wherever we will do the manufacturing, we will, we will get on board other means of transportation. Thanks, Isaac. It's a terrific presentation and uh, good to see that you're leveraging existing programs in Ghana. Uh, the question, have you tested the Obasima products with your patients or consumers? For now, I've not tested, but um, learning nutrition and clinical nutrition in school as part of our program, we know that all the micro and trace elements are important, which before Obasima came, we were advising our clients to have other sources of those supplements. Okay. So we know it will still work, even though we've not tested and tried it, but we have them listed, all the 18 uh, plus micronutrients, we know they are okay. important. 
So, so in that case, what are your plans? Where, where would you like to procure Obasima products from? In a retailer or a distributor? And what margins do you have to charge for to be sustainable either on your e-commerce platform? I or think uh, store? For, it, for it to be more sustainable and affordable for the people below the pyramid, we, we wouldn't charge a distribution fee or maybe delivery fee on their purchases. Mm -hmm. We will just deliver on a free basis, but we will procure from the wholesalers where we will get it at a cheaper price. But, but then how will you uh, subsidize your cost, your cost of distribution? Actually, we will use some of our profits in other organizations that I'm running to support that project because I already have an ambition to start a non-governmental organization, which I'm on my way registering it now. So when it, it works that way, we can source for funding from anywhere else to support the project. Great, great. And your current revenues for the two channels, your herbal store and the e-commerce? Uh, current revenue cannot be ascertained because most of the orders now are not coming from their groceries, which is a new place, it's a new startup. But with a clinic, current revenue for a year is close to maybe around $20,000 profit after expenses and everything. So the clinic will be supporting the two new agencies to achieve that goal.